Word man, words can never hurt you was carved on the poet's tombstone. Paragraphs that alter my vision, words that haunt, haunt me, sentences that confuse me. Poets are prophets, poets are prophets, poets are prophets. Visions, mad visions, poetry, pop that poetry out. Poet after poet after poet goes to the stage and tries to, to win the crowd's approval, but not one has the words to do it. To the lions I go, to the lions ripped to shreds. Bottom, 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 the cry, the crowd cries. Still they come young, young academics with dictionary dialogues. William Boyle type junkie impersonators. Lost generation daddies tell them their story of how we won the big war. Transsexuals with a secret knowledge of heterosexual love making. Many are called, but few are chosen. Still they come to sacrifice homes to the gods, and the crowd keeps yelling, bottom, bottom, you're not amusing us. <laughs> And one poet screams out, but my poem is about truth. My sonnet is about love. Bottom! The crowd screams back in unison. Take that poet and skin him alive. Maybe the torch will induce in him real inspiration. The crowd watches in amazement. Yes, yes, yes. This is it. This is it. This is a bottom. This is torture. They love it. Yes. And as they slowly skin the poet alive, out comes the poetry notebooks and pure inspiration glows in each face. Amazing, amazing, beautiful sonnets come out of some. Others write brilliant of political injustice, worthy to compete with the Nobel Prize. The poet screams and agony is flesh is cut slowly away. One young girl recites a love poem of pure bliss during his tortured ravings. Please help me, someone help me, have pity on me, he screams. The young girl just laughs, then gets it on, on her knees and prays to her voodoo god. As the last word leaves her murmuring lips, the poet expires.